Zanzibari cuisine reflects several heterogeneous influences, as a consequence of the multicultural and multi-ethnic nature of Zanzibar's and Swahili heritage. It is a mixture of various culinary traditions, including Bantu, Arab, Portuguese, Indian, British and even Chinese cuisine. Early history The first inhabitants of Zanzibar were Bantus coming from mainland Tanganyika. They consisted of mostly fishers and their diet thus consisted of primarily seafood, such as tuna, mackerel, lobster, squid, octopus and oysters. Other ingredients and recipes brought by Bantus that are found in today's Zanzibari cuisine some of which became widespread during European colonialism are common beans, sweet potatoes, manioc chips, yam and plantain. In the 9th century, Omanis, Yemenis and Persians began colonizing the Swahili coast, including the Zanzibar archipelago. They brought along with them new dishes and ingredients, most notably spices, coconut, mango, citrus and rice. One of the most common Zanzibar recipes, the pilau pilaf rice, i.e., rice, coconuts, nuts and spices, clearly reflects its Arab origin. Between the 15th century and the 16th century, the Portuguese quickly conquered most of the African Great Lakes, including Zanzibar. The main Portuguese influences on Zanzibari cuisine was the introduction of those that would become major types of staple food in Zanzibar, namely manioc, maize and pineapple. In 1651, the Portuguese lost control of Zanzibar to the Omani Sultanate. The Omanis brought new spices and intensified the commercial relationships between Zanzibar and India. As a consequence, Indian recipes such as chutney, masala, biryani, curry, fish cakes, and samosa, samosa made it to Zanzibar. Most recipes of foreign origin were adapted to the ingredients that were available on the island, thus giving birth to a largely original fusion cuisine. Around the beginning of the 20th century, most of the African Great Lakes region was colonized by the Germans and the British. Those did not mix with the local population as much as the Arabs, Persians and Indians had done, and their influence on Zanzibari cuisine is less evident, yet some very common Zanzibari recipes, such as pepper steak, can be generically defined as having a European origin. Post-independence after independence, Tanzania established a strong relationship with China. Chinese physicians, engineers, and military consultants came to Zanzibar. Although only a small fraction of today's Zanzibari population has Chinese origins, some recipes and ingredients, such as soy sauce, have become commonplace on the island. Examples Below are seven examples of the fine Zanzibar dishes equals 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 1 sorpotel equals 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 sorpotel is a recipe of portuguese indian bone origin consisting of a mixture of boiled meat in zanzibar this includes tongue heart and liver it is cooked with masala a mix of spices similar to curry as well as tamarind and vinegar 2 spice cake the spice cake is the most typical dessert in Zanzibari cuisine. It is made of a pastry with a mix of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg and chocolate. 3. Boku 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 is a sort of skew of meat cooked in maize, ginger, cumin, chili, tomato and onion. 4. Date and hazelnut bread Bread prepared with hazelnuts and dates, as well as eggs and vanilla, is the most traditional food to celebrate the end of Ramadan. 5. Pilau meat Pilau meat is usually prepared with goose sometimes calf or cow, meat cooked with potatoes, onions, spices, coconut milk and rice. 6. Pepper shark Shark is one of the most traditional types of Zanzibari seafood, it is prepared with pepper and other spices. 7. Puiza wa Nazi Puiza wa Nazi, meaning, octopus and coconut, in Swahili, is octopus boiled in coconut milk, curry, cinnamon, cardamom, garlic and lime juice. References 
Zanzibari cuisine